enemy destroyed. There we go. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel here. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my high kill gameplay video of my me using the RPD and the QBZ in this game. Um, I dropped close to 108 kills on Cartel, and I just wanted to talk about the map a little bit. I wanted to talk about the guns and, you know, keep it kind of short. I did kind of forget to include my audio for this video, so I had to do a voiceover. My mic is muted as you're watching me play the game. My mic is actually fucking muted. I forgot to unmute the mic. So I'm just doing a voiceover. Um, so yeah, in this clip you can see me using the QBZ. I'm trying to level the gun up to get to like level 50. I've leveled up all my SMGs already. But yeah, I definitely, if you're not using the QBZ for multiplayer, I definitely look into it. This gun is a laser. It's good for close quarters. It is a monster. Like, I'd even say it's one of the better ARs. I like it better than the Krig, personally. That's just me. Uh, I mean, a lot of people love the Krig. A lot of people compare the Krig to the Galil. Like, it's a laser. I just, I like the QBZ. I mean, this gun has good damage, good accuracy. The recoil control in the beginning, when you fire your first couple shots, is a little erratic. But after that, it starts stabilizing, and it's pretty fucking good. So yeah, I'd recommend looking into this gun here. I'll probably make a class out of the video here soon. I have a really high gameplay video of me only using the QBZ. Like, an 88 kill game, and it, it is phenomenal. This gun is amazing. I definitely look into it. And so now, here's also the RPD. I have a class setup video for this either that's already been out, or I'm gonna make it. I don't know. Um... I make a lot of my videos in advance because I'm a college student, and or I end up making it later. So it's it kind of gets busy for me to make videos on and off, more or less. I'm not like a lot of these big YouTubers, more or less, having all the free time to do whatever they need to be doing. So yeah, back to it here. This RPD is amazing. Great ammo capacity, reloads fast. Is it lasers kids like left and right? Look at this. I, I'm about to beam a fucking sniper, bro. Like that, that kid didn't even stand a chance. Like you would think the sniper has the upper hand. The man's glitching, like head glitching behind a rock. Like, I just completely lasered the kid. If this gun is a monster. I, I probably put this gun over the stoner. I just like the stoner better, personally. Even though this is my better gun. Um, I just feel like the stoner is better at close quarters than this gun is. But I'm probably wrong on it. I don't even use the scope on the stoner. I just use iron sights. But yeah, so that those are the two things here on the guns. Um, my issues with this map, though, Cartel... I got, I got pluses on this though. So the reason I was able to get a lot of kills was A, I'm using the VTOL. I was able to get a VTOL twice in this game. I'm running the chopper gunner and I'm running the gunship. Right, I get all my streaks. A good chunk of my kills come from my gun kills in general. Like I think 40 of them, 50 of them came from me just getting gun kills in general. But the other half came from the streaks. And this map is amazing for streaks for the simple reason it's so huge on a 12v12 map and everybody's outside. There's like, what, the two little huts that you can hide in with the mini the turrets on. There is the one spot you could hide in, or technically two buildings in the back area. And then just the two little facilities. There's not a lot of places you can hide in, right? It's, it's not like Miami or like if you go play the Mall at Pines map where the whole map is indoors. A lot of the map is outside. The issue with it being outside though is those bushes. Those fucking bushes are the most annoying fucking thing ever. So if you're in a kill streak, it's amazing for you. But if you're on like running around on your foot, those bushes are the biggest fucking pain. Like I, I genuinely don't understand why they didn't just trim the hedges just a little bit. Like because it being taller than m my character itself is kind of annoying to me. Like I literally can't see people unless I run like the flashlight attachment that allows me to get people pinged on my screen. Which I find that dumb that I have to actually have an attachment like that to ping people on my screen. But yeah, I I do think this is a pretty dope ass map. Um, I did realize there's a weird glitch in this game, though. So after I called in my VTOL and I spawned in, I can't call in my chopper gunner or my gunship. So this gun is... I said gum. This game is still riddled with bugs. So, like, I, I, I literally couldn't use my streak. So I'm just like, fuck it, I'm just gonna run and gun. I got nothing better to do. And, like, n none of these kills are counting towards a score streak or a VTOL. So that's also kind of stupid. But it, it is what it is, more or less. That's, uh, that's 500 easy points I just lost straight up. I could have applied that to a VTOL, but the streaking system is kind of weird. Now I die, now I can use my gunship. So yeah, like, as you can clearly see, like, it's it's super, super open, but a lot of people, when they play 12v12a, either run Spycraft, Ghost, or Cold-Blooded. And people that run Cold-Blooded are really fucking smart for the amount of, like, streaks that do get dropped during this game mode. And then there are people that run Air Patrol, too. And those people really are party boobers for me, but... 
they're fucking smart for running air patrol. So yeah, flag jacket doesn't really stop you or help you from a gunship because I mean I'm just gonna switch to a different rocket launcher or whatever on here or another gun. So yeah, um, I do hope you guys do enjoy the rest of the gameplay video. Um, hit the follow button for the channel on Twitch. I stream Friday, Saturday, Sunday at 5 p.m. Central Time. So yeah, I will. Um, yeah, just leave it to you guys to enjoy the rest of the gameplay. So yeah, that's kind of it. Established overhead. Hard point lost. Sighted enemy spy plane. Multiple hostile spy planes detected. Hostile spy plane destroyed. Killed by glory. have trophy capability. Thank you guys for watching the video. Um, if you guys can hit a dislike button or a like button, that'd be appreciated. If you could leave a comment at the bottom as well, that'd be appreciated. And if you guys could hit the sub button, that'd also be appreciated. Thank you guys for watching the video, and I hope you guys have a blessed one.